So this is advice for aspiring writers. This is meant to help you. I'm a writer myself. I have uh, 10 years of experience. I've written a couple of books. And recently, something happened which surprised me. And uh, that is why I'm making this video. Because I'm writing my next big novel. And I'm about 300 pages in. Okay, 300 pages in, and something peculiar happened. In my head, this novel, the story, the characters, the rhythm, they all be popping. Like, in my head, this novel is relentless. It is just, it, it sucks you in, in my head, right? It is uh, amazing. But something happens... When it goes from the mind onto the paper, something is lost in translation. A potency is lost, an impact, whatever you want to call it. So that is why I'm naming this video Lost in Translation. For all of you aspiring writers, this will happen to you again and again and you shouldn't be terrified you shouldn't be afraid this happens to all of us and it is what it is okay these are some of the setbacks and hardships of being a writer and and it doesn't matter uh, how much experience you have it will happen to all of us and uh in my case, I wasn't afraid as much as I was shocked that this was possible. Because in my head, yet again, it, this book is just... You know, it is... Amazing, right? It, it just... When I think about this book, in my head, I'm just astounded. And yet, whenever I write... It just doesn't feel right. It's, something's missing. Something's missing. Right? There are two versions. The one in my head and the one on the paper. And something, 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 something has been, uh, you know, has been removed. And I don't know how this is possible. My only explanation is that words simply cannot convey accurately what happens in the mind, in the imagination, right? You might, be, you might be the best linguist, you might be a human dictionary, and yet you might still fail to convey the, emo the feeling of your story, and I think that is probably one of the most important things is to properly convey th the mood, the feeling of your story or of a scene, etc. Right? So language, even though it is beautiful, a really great tool to have, sometimes it can disappoint you, sometimes it can fail you, Right? And you're just left awestruck, uh, confused. How can this be? Right? And it is what it is. I've been thinking about making this video for a long time because I have, I don't know how long it's been, a year, maybe half a year since I started writing. And immediately I noticed that there were two versions of this story. I noticed that there was a difference between what I was writing and what I was thinking about. The one on paper doesn't have that same impact, doesn't have that same potency. Something's missing, okay? And I was shocked at first because I was so hype. I, I couldn't wait to write this thing, and this book, the story, these characters have 
have been haunting me for quite a while. A good amount of years, they've been right here. And now came the time to put them down on paper and I was just, uh, uh, you know, devastated, right? How could this be, right? The hype was real. And then page after page, chapter after chapter, and uh, it just didn't work. So my advice to you as a aspiring writer is uh, you need to keep going. Maybe you will find your rhythm. Maybe you will find the way to express the mood, the right mood that is in your head on paper. Things will get lost in translation, okay? From the mind to the paper, in between these two terminals, something will inevitably be lost. It is what it is. You know, this comes with the territory. But after I've written a couple of books, this is the first time that I've really experienced this type of, uh, you know, phenomenon, right? So... My advice to you aspiring writers is, you know, don't give up, keep on writing, because I'm going to keep on writing, and my, um, I think that after I'm done with the book, I'm going to have to put it down for a couple of weeks, and then when the editing and polishing process starts, then I will have to find a way to really uh, correct the mistakes, you know, and that's tough because, you know, what kind of language can you use to convey to the reader the same type of emotion that you feel while thinking about this book, by, about your story and such? It, it, it is tough. It is tough, but, you know, we gotta, we gotta do it. Because we're writers, right? Uh, you know, unfortunately, there is no other type of advice that can be given in this situation. Keep on writing, and maybe as you write, you will discover, you know, the type of mood and the, the, the right direction in which your story needs to be heading, right? Don't give up. Keep on writing, you know. And another, another tip. If your story isn't 100% as you imagined it, you know, it is what it is, okay? It happens, okay? You cannot possibly expect that the story in your head to be 100% faithful and accurate on paper. It just can't happen because as good of a tool that language is, it is also a barrier. Okay, it is also an obstacle. Okay, no matter what, what words you use, they might fail to convey and express all the emotions that you felt while thinking about this story and about these characters. So that's about it. Lost in translation. It, it happens. It will happen again and again. And we need to be steadfast. Okay. Uh, that's about it. Uh, of course, as I said, I'm a writer myself. I have a few books on Amazon. If you want to support your boy, the link will be down below. Thanks for watching, keep on re uh, reading and writing, and see ya.